Now I will start the virtual classroom in a new window and I have to allow the computer to use the camera and the microphone. Hello and welcome to the tutorial of the virtual classroom. Now we can start the conference. Hello? Hello? Where am I? Oh! Hello, Mrs. Natta. Can you hear me? Oh, hi! Yes, hello, Mr. Hello. Yuga. Yeah, I can hear you. Well, welcome to the virtual classroom. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, what's wrong with the webcam? I don't know. You are... Why? You, you seem to be a bit far away. Can you move closer to the camera? Oh! Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. It's <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yes, nice to see you as well. Hello. Great. Well, you know, usually you have to face the camera directly so everyone else can see you. Oh, okay. that's logical. Okay. Okay, now it's much better. Well, welcome again. Now I can see you. and I, I can see you as well. Good. And I can hear you too. Can you hear me? I definitely can hear you loud and clearly. Perfect. Now, so you can see that we both have pictures of each other and you can actually mm -hmm. move the pictures around. Now, can you see everything in the virtual classroom? I think there's something, I don't know, it's, it's really unclear mm -hmm. in the left corner, two lines or two written lines over each other. It's the same with mine as well. I almost forgot to tell you that you have to use the big screen. You have to maximize your screen and then oh. you can see everything perfectly. It's called actions. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, um, I have five green arrows and you have five red blocks. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. means that um, I am the moderator since I created this meeting. I am the one who has yeah. all the rights. So let's say I'm the god of the virtual classroom. <laughs> And now, which means that um, you are the participant whom I invited mm -hmm. to the virtual classroom. And of course, you can apply to be a moderator, which I can grant, but I also can give you just specific rights. So, for, okay. for the start, I will allow you to be the moderator. So, I will grant you moderator rights. <laughs> and I have green buttons as well. Exactly. So welcome to being a moderator. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I am glad to walk you through all these tools of the virtual classroom. But first of all, I would like to show you something. Okay. Now, I will upload a presentation of our today's topics so you can have a look right away oh. at what we are going to do. Now, I really ah. hope that you are able to oh, see... Oh, I can see it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Very well. Oh, oh it's moving. <laughs> As I told you before, our today's presentation is about the virtual classroom. Oh, just hold on for a second. I think I can't see the whole picture of it. You can't see the whole picture. Well, I think the headline is, is gone. Well, you can do this, of course. You can change your whiteboard functions. Um, you can see maybe the button on the right top side, which is called zoom in and zoom out. Oh, yeah, this arrow. Zoom in, zoom out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, now I can see the whole picture. Perfect. If I make it smaller. Yeah, thank you. Now, the first topic today is, of course, how to start the virtual classroom. Maybe you remember when we entered the virtual classroom, which I explained, of course, as well, very shortly. You have to allow your computer to use the microphone and the camera. Yeah, exactly. Now, we move on to the different tools of the virtual classroom and how to use them. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, as you can see, there are many nice pictures on the left hand side above our names yeah exactly so now that we all that we both are moderators we can do a lot of nice and funny things in the virtual classroom that sounds good what are these things now the first nice button with um, 
means that this is the moderator of this room. For example, when there is a lecture in the virtual classroom or when there is a tutor, only this person is allowed to be a moderator just to make sure that everyone else applies to the rules of the virtual classroom. That's good. Next to this tiny man, you have a pen. Oh, yeah. This pen means that you are allowed to draw on the whiteboard. The whiteboard is this one. Which one? The one where I uploaded the presentation. Now, let me explain it to you. So, as you can see, you already have the whiteboard with the presentation on it. There is actually a right, uh, a green button right next to whiteboard. With a plus. Exactly. And it means add whiteboard. Okay. If I click on this one, you can see a white board. <laughs> as you can see, you can point. There appears a lot of arrows of you. They disappear after a while. This is important when a participant or a tutor wants to point out some things that are important in a meeting. And you can es especially see your names right to your arrow because this is important to make sure um, who of the participants actually wants to point out at something. Also, it can be really helpful if there are just more than one person exactly. or two person in a room. Now, next to the pointer, right next to it, you have the button text. You have the big letter A. Yeah. So, with this one, you can actually, as you can see here, draw a box. And within this box, you can just type whatever you want. And if you click outside the box... I can say something. Test with individual classroom. Exactly. So but how but how do I open this box? Well, you have to draw the box. And within this box, you can write whatever you want. For example... <laughs> great! For example, if you want to add something additionally, you can simply click on whatever you wrote, and then your box reappears. If you actually click on the box where you already written something, you can see that there are two tiny buttons. First, one with a pencil where you can edit your text. And then, of course, one with a red cross where you can delete it. What I forgot to say about the pointer. So when you use the pointer, or use it more often, actually. Whoa! <laughs> this way you can use it to draw more attention to yourself or if you would like to point out something or even say something without interrupting the participants or even the tutor. Oh, this is a really good idea. Next to the text button, there is the button called Paint. Yeah, yeah. And this one you can use to paint something. Oh, wow! And you can use, for example, if you have a look below the whiteboard, there is yeah. a button called Properties. Yeah. Exactly. So you can minimize this one Right next to the word properties, there is an arrow showing yeah, down. I can see it. The properties refer to the properties of every button which you can use for the whiteboard. For example, the paint, which we are now using, you can change the color. So you can see probably an orange button. And if you click on the yeah. orange button, you can choose a different color. Oh. Let's say, for example, red. Oh, yeah. And next to the red color, you have numbers as well. You can change the width of the line. For example, you can make it bigger, as you can see now. That's very nice. It's very playful, I have to admit. <laughs> yes, and change. you also have other nice options. Right next to the paint button, there is the line drawer, meaning that you can just draw a line. Yeah. This is very cool. And as usual, you know, you can change all the properties of every button on top. The next button is you can draw an underline. Meaning, for example, if you have a text on the whiteboard and you want to underline something, you can use this one. But you can also use um, things such as a rectangle. It's right next to the underline. You can just draw okay. a rectangle. But you can <laughs> also clear a whiteboard. Oh, wow, how can you do that? You just click on the red button right on top of the whiteboard. And you can make room for more. 
Or of course, if you don't want to delete anything on the first whiteboard, you can just add an additional whiteboard. But does it make sense? Because if we close this with a classroom, then it just disappears. No, it doesn't disappear if you don't want it to disappear. So let's say we draw a bit more. Let's use, for example, an arrow. Mm -hmm. And you can also use clip arts. For example, oh. this one. So I can tell other members that I'm going to go swimming today? For example, or that you're going home. So it depends. <laughs> and let's say you want to save this whiteboard. This is also possible. So you don't have to delete it and you don't have to add an additional one without um, being afraid that you might lose it. What you can do is you can save the whiteboard and export it to a file. How am I going to do that? Simply by clicking the button on top, Save and Export. You can see a floppy disk. Ah, oh, yeah, I can see it. So you can click on it and say Save. You can actually name the file. We are calling it mm -hmm. Test. And then it's mm -hmm. perfectly saved. So I can reuse it for the next meeting as well? Of course. You can always upload it again on the whiteboard for the next meeting. This is awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's very interactive. It is, definitely. So, you've seen the whiteboard so far. Now we go back to our presentation. For example, the blue line on top of the whiteboard. And on the right-hand side, you see a small computer. And if I click on it, mm -hmm. I am able to share my screen, which you can shortly see. Now, I just have to allow that and start sharing. So you can use the shared screen to actually demonstrate to your participants something, for example, on the Internet. This is really good. So I can see exactly what you're doing. So you can follow all my steps. <laughs> now, there is also the option not only to share my screen with you, but also to record the screen. But of course, I'm not going to upload it online. Um, what I will do is, while we are talking, um, the screen is being recorded as well yeah. as our voices and our pictures. That sounds nice. This is very helpful when, of course, there is a training going on. And let's say some participants cannot actually um, be part of the virtual classroom. I see. So if I'm ill, I just can watch it later on. Exactly. Okay. There is also another communication option, um, which you can see right down at the bottom under Properties. Oh, yeah, it's called Chat. Exactly. So if you click on the chat, you are able to actually communicate with everyone in the virtual classroom. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> now, this is important. Um, when you want, of course, to address all the participants, um, when you want to address a certain topic that you would like to discuss, or simply by just saying goodbye or saying hello. This is a nice old-fashioned way of chatting with each other. Now what you can do regarding the chat, you can also change the type of your letters, the size and the color. You can also add emoticons and, of course, you can copy the chat log. Mm -hmm. This is important, for example, when you have a lecture um, that you can save all the communication that has been written and also um, review it later on. So, as you can see, there are many nice things to use the virtual classroom. Oh, yeah. Which leads us to probably the least interesting part, which is, of course, the ending of a virtual dialogue. So, once the chat has been saved and the whiteboards as well. Then, of course, everyone else can say goodbye to each other and the moderator is the last person to actually close the classroom and make sure that everyone else has left it. Well, thank you for participating. Thank you for your guidance. Well, see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.